What's going on, TTM? Hope everything's back normal for you guys. We got another year, 2023 baseball here. Um, this video, we actually uh, we just completed our minor league draft, got the keepers in, so huh, we are moving right along. In this video, though, I will be talking about and grading your actual 10 MLB keepers. So let's get started. Uh, first up, uh, Sacrifice Blunts, Kroom. Um, You've got a good hitter list. Pena was an iffy keeper for me. It sucks. You got, I mean, you got to keep Harper, but he's out for at least half the year, if not longer. You're keeping four starting pitchers, which is a lot, but they're good ones, so that helps out. Anyway, uh, you have areas of you're going to need like speed and stuff, but only one guy was an iffy keeper for me. So I gave you an A minus in terms of your keeper ranking. So good keepers. But you got a little areas to work on that you'll find out in your draft. Uh, next up, my two dads. Ty France for me is interesting. He's a first baseman. I don't know if he's... He's a first baseman, so he should be a big power hitter, which he's not. But he does do a lot of things well except for run. So eh, he's in... Ah, I don't know if I'd keep him on my team, but he's close. Um, all your other guys are top-notch guys, hitters-wise at least. Uh, your pitchers, you're keeping Painter, which he's now, I guess, shut down for about a month or so with an elbow issue, which is always concerning. But the guy's like 19, I think, and I mean, he looks like he could be a dominant pitcher if he gets healthy. Um, I get why you keep him, but that's going to be a tough keep. So, yeah, you got two guys on your team that I don't know. I don't know if I'd keep him, but I gave you a solid B on your score. Uh, Rooster, Warney's. Nope, I guess we're just going leg spin this year. No warning, he's dead, so he, he's retired. I'm not sure what's, how that works. Anyway, uh, your hitters. You got a really good list of hitters. Um, not You got a Rose Rain with speed, but not much else speed there. Um, I like them. I don't find too much of a fault with any of those guys. So I really like your hitters. Uh, your pitchers. You have Scherzer as your only starting pitcher and then three closers. I understand why you keep three closers. They're valuable. But I think you could have been better off with two closers and two starting pitchers. So I would have only kept two of those guys and tried to trade one for something else. But I gave you a B-plus rooster. Um, solid anyway. Uh, the couch pulls out, but I don't. The sofa guy called Preston. Um you're only keeping four hitters. I don't like that. But those four hitters are very good hitters, so I can't fault you there. Um, yeah, and then your pitchers. A.J. Minter is on the fence for me. I don't know if I would have kept him. That guy's a loose cannon. He can fall apart any time. So there's that guy. He would be an iffy keeper for me. Michael Kopech coming off an of injury. I think he's starting to pitch. I think he pitched his first Cactus League game this last week. So... I don't know if he'll be ready for opening day, but he should be ready sometime in April, I believe. Um, I don't know if I would have kept him or not, especially coming off, I think it was, was it Tommy John or whatever, whatever surgery it was. It was big. So I don't know about that. Um, but other than that, you got Verlander, Gosman, two starting pitchers, and then Hader and Barr, two closers. I mean, you're well-rounded in pitchers. You just got a lot of them. Um, anyway, I gave you a solid B as far as your keepers go. Uh, new guy, Nebraska Binge, uh, Brian Binge, is that how you say your name, hopefully, if not, let me know, or whatever people call you, then we can start calling you that, uh, anyway, you kept, uh, six hitters as well, I believe, um, Wilson Contreras is iffy for me, eh, top five-ish catcher, we'll see how he does in St. Louis's first year there, um, I know catcher's super thin, so, you gotta do what you gotta do, but I don't know if I would've kept him. Um, other than that, everybody on your hitters wise looks really good. So, I mean, obvious ones there, of course. Uh, as far as your pitchers go, you kept Alex Vesea, who I don't think is going to close in LA for the Dodgers, but that situation is wide open. So could, could be a good keeper, but I wouldn't have kept him. You also kept Lucas Giolito. I mean, this guy's got really good stuff, but I mean, what do you have a five ERA or something last year? Don't know if I would have kept him. I probably would have cut him loose. But, I mean, I know the talent's there. Um, so those kind of knock you down a little bit. I gave you a B- minus for your keepers. Uh, next up, Packing Heat, Justin Klecker. 
Um, you kept uh, four hitters as well. A lot of pitchers being kept this year. Um, two of them, DJ LeMayhew, I would not have kept him. I just don't see anything that any value there anymore at all. Brian Reynolds is close. I know he's got decent stats and stuff, but I don't know. He's an outfielder. That's a deep ass position. So, eh, he's on the fence for me. Your pitchers, uh, let's see. Your bullpen first. Kimberl and Jansen, super old guys, super guys. I don't know if I would count on. I mean, I feel like one of those guys is definitely going to get hurt at some point this year, if not both. Uh, your starting pitchers, Kershaw and Snell, that's fine. Kershaw's a little old. He hasn't pitched a full year in a while either, so that's iffy. Lance Lynn, I mean, didn't have a great year last year. He traded the house to the farm for him, literally, for J-Rod. If you had J-Rod, your team would look amazing right now. Um, and you also have Rodan, who just got hurt this spring. And I, that's, I hate when my guys get hurt so early, Is that especially a pitcher. Is that an ominous sign? I don't know. But I gave you a C plus. You have a lot of guys in your team that's uh, they're dicey at best. Uh, hats for bats. Um, you kept five hitters, three of which are interesting. Dalton Varsho, big time home run guy, just got traded to Toronto. I mean, I think he can still hit thirty home runs, but it's going to come with a terrible average and a terrible OBP. Is that worth it? I don't know. Maybe. So you also kept um, Adolis Garcia. Uh, I don't know if you would if you I would have not kept both Varsho and Garcia. They're this they similar, just play different positions. They're going to be low average or medium, like two forty average, with a three hundred or around three hundred OBP. So that's crazy. So wouldn't have kept him. Chris Bryant, that guy's always injured. Yeah, I don't know. Your hitters are a little little weak. Um, as far as your pitching goes, you kept, uh, three, uh, starting pitchers, two, um, closers, Ed and Diaz and Helsey. So that is really good. I love your pitching, but your hitting is going to need some work. Hats for bats. Um, I gave you a B. I almost gave you a B minus, but I guess I was nice and gave you a B, even though you're going to have the worst draft pick because your team is somehow the best keepers. I don't know why, but Yep. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, you got to work on your hitting, I would say, at least average and OBP wise in the draft. Um, next up, D's Dominators, Schaefer. You're keeping seven hitters. This is what you do, though. Um, and your two of the guys in Olsen and Schwarber are only two of the five projected hitters to have 40 plus home runs according to ESPN projections. So that you, you're going to have a lot of power in your team. Um, you're also keeping a young first baseman DH guy, Vinny Pasquatino. <sighs> if he maintains first base, I get that. If he's DH only, which I don't know if he will be, or he might be at the end of this year, going into next year, that'll be another thing. And I guess we'll see what he does also. If he hits 30 and hits 290, well, then he's a keeper. But if he hits 25 and is a 260 hitter, I don't know. We'll see what his OBP is, I guess. Um, but I get a one-year trial for that guy, so that's fine. Andrew Vaughn, eh, you could upgrade that guy. He's probably your 10th keeper, I would say. Um, as an outfield first base guy that only hits 19 home runs with a 260 average, I mean, that's upgradable for sure. Uh, your pitchers, uh, Burns, Javier, both really good. Uh, Duran, I like this guy a lot. He's super young. is amazing. Um... I don't know why he's not the closer yet. They got Jorge Lopez or whatever. You need that guy to get some TJ in his life. So Duran becomes the closer. But um, I gave you a solid A for your uh, keepers there. So, yeah, you will need pitching in the draft, though. Next up, uh, Bolt. <laughs> Bolt. No wonder you sold the farm, and you're about to find out why when I say what your stuff is. Let's see. Alonzo, one of the five that I've aforementioned guys that are going to are projected to hit 40 home runs according to ESPN. So, obvious keeper. Bichette, great player, 2020. Uh, Guriel, now in Arizona. I don't know. That might hurt him big time. We'll see how that goes. That's not a keeper for me. Jonathan India, not a keeper for me. Oh, gosh. Stop calling me work. So, those are your four uh, bats. And then you kept Garrett Crochet. I think he's going to be in the bullpen. He's going to be out half the year, though. I guess. I don't know. Rasmussen, Springs. 
I don't know what you see in either one of those starting pitchers. They're okay. They, I don't know. It's Tampa Bay. Do they even? Are they going to come in the second inning after the opener? I God. Then you kept two guys in a Kansas City bullpen. Oh, Iglesias is a good closer on Atlanta, but I don't know. Well, your keepers are horrible. No wonder you sold the farm for Holiday and Jones. Um, I gave you a C minus bolt with your keepers. That was the worst in the league. Sorry, Bolt, but hopefully your uh, help is on the way soon. Next up, a whole enchilada. Um, won the league last year, so probably don't have many holes. Uh, you did keep Tommy Edmond, I assuming for the speed. I'm not sure why you would keep him other than the speed. Um, not a great hitter. Uh, not a great OBP guy. Um, Teoscar Hernandez now in Seattle. I don't know. That seems to me that that is worse for him than hitting in Toronto. So he's on the fence for me as well. I don't know if I would have kept him. Obviously, Judge and Julio, pff, duh, I mean, obvious keepers. Uh, Brett Beatty came up, played really well last year for the Mets. They're counting on him to do big things this year, I guess. But I think he's a Lake, local product here from here in Lake Travis and Austin. So I don't know. I mean, we'll see what he hits, I guess. That could go either way. Then you kept Trevor Story. He was out for at least half the year, probably till All-Star break or later, maybe. Um, I get why you kept him, but that's a tough keep right there. As far as your pitchers go, Alcantara, DeGrom, Manoa, dominant top three starters. Felix Batista, good closer, so I don't fault any of those guys. Your, surprisingly, your pitching holds up your keeper into the bargain here. I gave you a B-. I mean, you're the reigning champ here. Your team, I thought, would be a lot stronger than that. But a B minus, I think, is where your keepers are at. Uh, Chalupa. Uh, Chalupa and Chalupa. Um, I guess you changed your name. I didn't even see that. It's not too high anymore. Um, anyway, you kept uh, six hitters. Um, the only hitter I almost have a problem with, Andres Jimenez. I know he had a good year last year. Can you repeat that? Mm, we'll see. Play second base, so that helps. The positioning is a little scarce, so if he goes anywhere close to 2020 like he did last year with 280 or 290, whatever he hit last year, that's obvious keeper. But I want I like to see guys do it multiple years. So will he repeat it? I don't know. Uh, Gunnar Henderson, uh, top or you kept seven hitters actually. Gunnar Henderson, top prospect in baseball by most accounts, uh, obvious keep. Um, we'll see what he's all about. Uh, Byron Buxton always injured. Hopefully he's healthy this year. We'll see. I guess. Uh, so, I don't know. That, that, that guy's tough. And then you kept three starting pitchers, Woodruff, Peralta, Freed, all really dominant pitchers. So, like that. But you're going to need lots and lots of bullpen guys. Uh, Chalupa, I gave you a B-plus on your keepers. And now uh, my team, as far as keepers go, uh, Rizzo, I, didn't, I don't know. I don't know why I kept that guy, really. Uh, I had some injuries in late in the year and or late in the spring training, so I had to cut some guys I didn't want to cut, but I cut them. Uh, I thought Rizzo was better than Torkelson, so we'll see how that goes. That's an on-the-fence guy I probably shouldn't be kept in most times. Um, all my other hitters, um, all seven of them, or six every eight, or if you count Otani, whatever you count him. Okay. Um, Wander Franco, we'll see. I don't know. He had a bad year last year. He's going to have to bounce back. If not, then I don't know. Pitchers of mine, pretty weak. Uh, Ray and Otani starting pitchers. Uh, SeaWorld, Paul Seawald on the Mariners. My closer, I guess, closer. Questionable keeper at best. I gave myself a B-. minus. Not a very good keeper. So, we'll see. But baseball's back almost. I mean, the World, the world Baseball Classic's going on right now. So, tune into that. Ah, lots of crazy guy, uh, youngsters in there. I like seeing that. Um, some guy just got signed from uh, Nicaragua through the three batters, struck them all out. Got signed the next day by that same night by the Tigers. Craziness. Uh, but yeah, according to this, Schaefer, you got the best uh, 10 keepers. Bolt, you have the worst. So, all right. TTM, we are well underway. Can't wait. We'll talk to you soon.